In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Memorari. Remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to their protection, implored their help, or sought their intercession, was left unaided. In spite of this confidence, we fly unto you, Virgin of Virgins, our Mother, to you do we come before we stand, sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer us. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us thank the Lord for this wonderful day, for every blessing and protection that we have received. Let us come before the presence of the Lord to feel His love, to feel His affection, His concern, and let us find security in Him. Dear brothers and sisters, let us surrender ourselves totally to God, Dedicate ourselves to his mission, to his word. Lord, at this time, in surrender, we ask you to bless our intentions, intentions of our families, of our religious communities, intentions of our states, countries, and the world. We ask you to bring peace in India, especially in Manipur, in Haryana, and in those places where there are riots, where there is enmity, burning, and killings. Lord, we ask you to bless all of us who are present at this time for the morning prayer. Bless our families, bless our works, bless our intentions, Bless the purpose of our living. Lord, at this time we present to you all the sick people in this world, especially in our families. I ask you to bless me with good healing, dear Lord. Bless all the people who attend this morning prayer with good health, healing, peace, joy and happiness. Lord, we pray to you at this time for all people who are with cancers, tumors, any illness in their life. Bless them with healing and with deliverance. We pray in a very special way for Caroline Raj for success in her exams. We pray for Mervyn Alfred Peters' family for their well-being. We pray for Myra Rosie Barreto for her healing. We pray for Ophelia Mesquita and her family for blessing of good health and thanking God for the gift of child for Chrysilda and Gerard. We thank God for Merlin and family. We ask the Lord to bless Sister Adelia Holy Cross with good health, with recovery, and we pray for the intentions of each one. Lord, we believe that you are the healer and you will heal us at this time. Amen. Let us take the hymn 119 on page 54 from the Joyful Lips. As we gather, may your spirit work within us. 
As we gather, may we glorify your name, knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship, we'll be blessed because we came. We'll be blessed because we came. We are people born of water and the Spirit. We are people come to celebrate God's love. We have come to hear the word. We have come to share the prayer. We have come to sing our praises to God above. As we gather, may your spirit work within us. As we gather, may we glorify your name, knowing well that as our hearts begin to worship, we'll be blessed because we came. We'll be blessed because we came. Dear brothers and sisters, let us be longing for the word of God and for God's mercy. At this time, let us pray with the psalmist, with Psalm 41. Antiphon, when can I enter and see the face of God? Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. My soul is thirsting for God, the God of my life. When can I enter and see the face of God? My tears have become my bread by night, by day. As I hear it said all the day long, Where is your God? These things will I remember as I pour out my soul, how I would lead the rejoicing crowd into the house of God amid cries of gladness and thanksgiving, the throng wild with joy. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will bless him still, my Saviour and my God. My soul is cast down within me as I think of you from the country of Jordan and Mount Hermon from the hill of Mizar. Deep is calling on deep in the row of waters. Your torrents and all your waves swept over me. By day the Lord will send his loving kindness. By night I will sing to him Praise the God of my life. I will say to God, my rock, Why have you forgotten me? Why do I go mourning oppressed by the foe? With cries that pierce me to the heart, My enemies revile me, Saying to me all the day long, Where is your God? Why are you cast down my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Saviour and my God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. When can I enter and see the face of God? My dear brothers and sisters, let us pray the canticle from Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, a prayer for Jerusalem, the holy city. Let us make this prayer our own prayer for healing and for God's compassion. The antiphon, show us, Lord, the light of your mercy. Save us, God of all things. Strike all the nations with terror. Raise your hand against foreign nations, that they may see the greatness of your might. Our sufferings proved your holiness to them. 
let their downfall prove your glory to us let them know as we ourselves know that there is no other god but you give us signs again work for the wonders clothe your hand your right arm in glory assemble all the tribes of jacob as when they first received their inheritance pity the poor people called by your name pity israel chosen as your first born have compassion on the holy city jerusalem the place of your rest let zion ring with your praises let your temple be filled with your glory glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen dear brothers and sisters let us take up the scripture reading from jeremiah chapter 15 verse 16 your words were found and i ate them and thy words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart for i am called by thy name o lord god of hosts the word of the lord thanks be to god dear brothers and sisters let us prepare ourselves to receive the spirit of god to receive the blessings of healing and deliverance let us ask our dear lord to deliver us from every evil and let us be in a prayerful mood asking god to heal us and deliver us from every evil let us raise our hands and praise god worship him do not worry about anything that is bothering you just forget about it and remember of god's mercy to begin your life anew in him Lord Jesus you came to heal our wounded and troubled hearts I beg you to heal the torments that cause anxiety in my heart I beg you in a particular way to heal all which are the cause of sin I beg you to come into my life and heal me of the psychological harms that struck me in my early years and from the injuries that they caused throughout my life Lord Jesus you know my burdens I lay them all on your good shepherd's heart. I beseech you and by the merits of the great open wounds in your heart and to heal the small wounds that are in mine. Heal the pain of my memories so that nothing that has happened to me will cause me to remain in pain and anguish filled with anxiety. Heal O Lord all those wounds that have been the cause of all the evil that is rooted in my life. I want to forgive all those who have offended me. Look to those inner souls that make me unable to forgive. You who came to forgive the afflicted of heart, please heal my own heart. Heal Lord Jesus those intimate wounds that cause my physical illness. I offer you my heart. Accept it, Lord. Purify it and give me the sentiments of your divine heart. Help me to be meek and humble. Heal me, O Lord, from the pain caused by the death of my loved ones, which is oppressing me. Grant me to regain peace and joy in the knowledge that you are the resurrection and the life. Make me an authentic witness to your resurrection, your victory over sin and death, your living presence among us. Amen. Thank you Lord Jesus for this moment of healing and deliverance. Let us pray the prayer our Lord has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. as we forgive those who trespass against us 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Almighty Lord and God, protect us by your power throughout the course of this day. Even as you have enabled us to begin it, do not let us turn aside to any sin, but let our every thought, word and deed aim at doing what is pleasing in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, remain blessed by the Lord. Remain in this virtuous life. Amen. Live Jesus.